Welcome back to The Late Show, already in progress. Folks, you know my next guest from The League and Transparent. He's now starring in the new Baywatch movie. Mitch, did you pull Brody off the beach to break into the medical examiner's office earlier today? Yeah, you bet I did. The councilman's boating accident was no accident at all. And our investigation has found leads right back to the Huntley. You don't do investigations. You're lifeguards. Police do investigations. When you do it, it's just a bunch of guys investigating another bunch of guys. No offense, you're included in that. Dante. Leave law enforcement to the police. And you guys just do the jobs that I hired you to do. You remember? The lifeguarding stuff. Splash, splash. Please welcome Rob Hubel. Serious crowd. It is serious crowd. That's a serious pander. Man, so well done. Really well done. Here's the thing. Nice to see you again. People uh, probably don't know this about you and I, but we used to have offices next to each other at The Daily Show. That's right, yeah. It was me and Steve Carell in one office, and then you were in the office next door to me. Who was With your office mate? Steve Carell's wife. Nancy. Yes. Nancy Walls. Yeah, Whose name Nancy is not Walls. Steve Carell's wife. It's no, Nancy. So it's Nancy Walls. But wasn't it crazy that if you, if you worked with your wife, wouldn't it seem like you would be in the office with your wife? Like... <laughs> It was no. crazy. Well, well, it was no, like you gotta, it was you gotta Nancy have and some I. Separation. It yeah. was Nancy and I over here, and then all we heard was you guys next door just cutting up all the, t just like ha 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 ha. We're like typing on our computers. I remember a fair amount of the writing staff being mad at me and Steve because yeah. we laughed a lot. There was a lot of like really over the top laughter, like just going crazy. But you know, we were just faking to make just you crazy. Fake. We were crazy. It was but really. Here's the thing: is that when I found out you were coming on the show, I said, "Oh yeah, he should be course one on the Daily Show." And they said, "No, no, he was a producer." Yeah. I said, I'm "Pretty sure that guy's a comedian. I don't think he would be a producer." That was when I yeah. was just starting out, and yeah. uh, and I'll be honest, I was a very mediocre producer. Do you ever get in trouble as a producer? Because producers have to go do things. Things. Like the talent goes and hides, like in the car. Yep. While the producer goes set up the situation where the talent goes into. Like yeah. we're, we're like a strike force. Yes. And the producer is like grinding it out like the first army. Yeah. What I like that analogy. We're like a strike force. Yeah, we are a comedy <laughs> strike force. So what? What you soften yeah. up the beach? We, yeah. Did you ever get in I've trouble? I've gotten in trouble. I've gotten in trouble a few times. Uh, one of one of the first jobs I ever did um, uh, was on a prank show for VH1, and uh, so they had this idea that we would do this prank. Hilarious, where uh, where I would take a Michael Jackson impersonator. This is before Michael Jackson passed away, obviously, and uh, and we were I was going to try to sneak him into Yankee Stadium so that Michael Jackson could throw out the first pitch before a baseball game, right? <laughs> Great. So you say like I've got Michael here. Yep, he just stopped exactly. by. He so, wants to throw so the first pitch. So I had pitch. to, and the producers of the prank show were like. It's going to be hilarious. You're never going to get in the stadium. They're just, gonna, you know, you're going to argue with some security guards, and they'll throw you out. We're wearing those hidden camera glasses, you know, so it's like really obvious. Like I'm filming, 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 you know. <laughs> and uh, so, but they didn't take into account that I'm, I'm pretty good at lying. Like I'm pretty good. <laughs> and so we went into the front office of Yankee Stadium. And I just laid down all this BS that I was with Michael Jackson, and they were like, let's do it. So next thing you know. It's you and Michael Jackson. Like, with like the a, glasses and the glove and the spangly dude, jacket. Michael Jackson, no, not even a black person. He's like a German guy <laughs> with wearing the surgical mask and uh, just like it was it was so ill-conceived. <laughs> next thing you know, we're in the dugout. I'm sitting, sitting next to Derek Jeter and like Joe Torre. They're like, yo, Michael Jackson. Like, <laughs> and we were like, so right before we are about to throw out the first pitch, like security started getting suspicious. And so they brought us out of the dugout and they separated us and they started grilling us. And uh, this other person that was with us, this other uh, producer started crying. <laughs> Don't ever cry under questioning. We went to jail. 
You went to jail. I like went to jail, cops, like uh, jail? Yep, in jail in the Bronx on a Friday night. If you go to jail in the Bronx Friday night, you don't get out till Monday morning. So Were you I in the same cell as Michael Jackson. Yes, they called us. <laughs> yes, it was me, Michael Jackson, and and three other people. So they called us the Jackson Five. <laughs> That's the best producer story I've ever heard. Yeah, I am permanently banned from Yankee Stadium. I have a thing that says you may not ever go back in Yankee Stadium. <laughs> but I've been back already. That's it for you. Now you're in the Baywatch. You're in the Baywatch no. thing. Do you, do you, are you are you like one of the guys who takes off his shirt and all well, jacked up and that kind of stuff? Here's the thing. I wanted to. They wouldn't let me. I kept. I kept. You're a fit guy. I'm not very fit. Uh, I'm not. Thank you for saying that. But under this suit, just pasty, gross flab. Um, <laughs> and, and then I offered. I started um, emailing the director pictures of myself in a speedo, and uh, he was like, "Please stop. Stop. <laughs> stop doing that." For the sequel, maybe for the sequel. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Lovely to see you again, so man. So fun to be here. Thank you for having so great me. Out. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Baywatch opens this Thursday. Rob Hubel, everybody, he went to jail.